So you've just installed or upgraded to Windows 11 and you're thinking to yourself, what should I do now? In this video, to help improve your overall experience, I'll show you the things you should do after installing Windows 11 to make it work better for you. Let's get started. First and foremost, you should check to see if there are any updates. After the initial install of Windows 11, there could be updates that include new features, bug fixes, or updates to your drivers to make them more compatible with the new operating system. To check for updates, let's open the Settings app. One of the many ways to open it is to right-click the Start Menu icon and select Settings. In the tabs on the left, go all the way down and select Windows Update. If you see that there's an update available, click Download and Install. If not, click on Check for Updates to scan for new updates. In addition, you may have optional updates to install that could make things better. Microsoft doesn't make this obvious, no surprise, so I'll show you how to find them. Go to Advanced Options, and Additional Options, select Optional Updates. If there are any available, click to check them, and then select Download and Install. Next, if you plan to make any changes that could have a negative impact on your system, it's always best to create system restore points to roll back those changes. To do this, go to the taskbar and select the search icon. Type system restore. Click on create a restore point. Make sure the system protection tab is selected. Left click on your system drive. For most of you, that'll be your C drive. Then select configure. If disabled, select Turn On System Protection. To adjust the amount of disk space used for restore points, move the slider to the right of max usage. In my experience, 2% is enough. When you're done with that, click OK. Your computer will now create system restore points automatically. To undo any negative changes and access a prior restore point, come back to this window and select System Restore. Click on Next. If you see more than one listed, select the newest restore point before you made any changes, and then click on Next. Then click on Finish to confirm your restore point. To customize your visual experience using Windows 11, right-click anywhere on your desktop and select Personalize. Select Colors. If you don't like the default light mode of your folders and apps, then choose your mode, click the drop-down arrow, and select Dark. You just might find this to be easier on your eyes. Let's go back and go into themes. Themes are specially created to give you an assortment of wallpapers and sometimes new sounds and color schemes. Let's scroll down. You could select from those pre-installed or those you've already downloaded by clicking on it. Or to find a new theme for your computer, click on Browse Themes. This will take you to the Microsoft Store Themes page to browse the hundreds of free themes available. Microsoft assumes that you may want all their services to load at startup, which could end up slowing down your boot time. To disable the Microsoft services you don't use at startup, right-click the Start Menu icon and select Task Manager. At the top, select the Startup tab. Services in this list owned by Microsoft that you may find enabled include Microsoft To-Do, Teams, Skype, Xbox App Services, Cortana, and OneDrive. For each service you don't use that you don't want enabled at startup, select it and then click Disable here in the lower right. And repeat the steps for each service you don't use. To make it more difficult for people you don't trust from accessing your PC, you may want to change your sign-in options. For this one, let's open the Settings app. Just right-click the Start Menu icon and select Settings. In the left pane, go to Accounts, then select Sign-in options. When you're going through the process of installing Windows 11, you may have already set up a password or PIN. Here you can change your password or PIN if you like. You also have additional sign-in options to choose from, including facial recognition, fingerprint recognition, security key, or you could use your picture as a password. Choose the sign-in option that you want and follow the instructions. When you upgrade from Windows 10 to 11, the old files from Windows 10 that are no longer needed are still on your drive taking up space just in case you want to roll back to Windows 10. If you're happy with Windows 11 and want to delete those old files, open the Settings app. 
In System, go to Storage. In Storage Management, select Cleanup Recommendations. If not already open, click Temporary Files. In addition to Downloads and Recycle Bin, you should also see another listing called Previous Windows Installation. I've already deleted it, so it's no longer here. So if you see Previous Windows Installation, put a check mark next to it, along with the other files you no longer need, and click on Clean Up to get rid of those files. Click on Continue, and wait for it to finish. A new feature in Windows 11 is the Widgets panel. To open it, click the Widgets icon located in the taskbar. Here you can view the local weather, sports, stocks, and all sorts of other stuff, including a news feed below from MSN. To change the size of any widget, click the three-dot menu icon. On most, you'll have the options of small, medium, and large. Let's change this back to medium. To add a new widget to the panel, select Add Widgets. At this time, there's only a dozen to choose from. To add any widget, click the plus. When you close out this window, you'll see your new widget in the panel. With any new install of Windows 11, you'll find icons taking up space in your taskbar that you may not want. In addition to widgets, there's Search, Task View to work with virtual desktops, and Chat for Microsoft Teams. To remove any of these, right-click any open space on your taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. Then in Taskbar Items, click the toggle to the Off position for each one that you want to remove. On the flip side, you may want to add a useful program or app to the taskbar for quicker access. One way of finding a program or app is to click on Start, go to All Apps, find the program in the list, right-click on it, and in More, select Pin to Taskbar. With it in the taskbar, left-click on it and drag it to the position where you want it. A major change with Windows 11 I've discussed before is the center alignment of the Start menu and icons in the taskbar. Some people love it and some people hate it. If you prefer the old left alignment, right-click an open area of your taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. Let's scroll down and select Taskbar Behaviors. Scroll down some more, click on the drop-down menu for the taskbar alignment and select Left. You'll now see that the Start menu and the other icons are now aligned to the left. To switch it back, click the drop-down menu again and select Center. If you've upgraded from Windows 10 to 11, your privacy settings should have transferred over. If you're using a fresh install of Windows 11, you might want to change some of these. Let's open the Settings app. In the left pane, select Privacy and Security. In Windows Permissions, go to General. If you value privacy, it's best to turn all of these off. Let's go back. Also in Windows Permissions, go to Diagnostics and Feedback. For Send Optional Diagnostic Data, toggle the switch to off. I'm currently on a local account, so I can't do this now. In addition, go to Improve Inking and Typing, Tailored Experiences, and View Diagnostic Data, and switch the toggle for each of these to off. When you're done with that, go to Delete Diagnostic Data, and click on Delete. Another thing to check out is your power plan. When I upgraded, Windows 11 changed my power plan back to balanced from high performance. Check your power plan, go to Search, and type Control Panel. Select it. In View By, select Large Icons. Click on Power Options. At this time, the Control Panel is still more detailed than using the Settings app to choose a power plan. Currently, it's set to Balanced. Depending on the manufacturer of your PC, you might have different choices than me. If you're a gamer or edit videos, high performance would be better for you. And if you have a higher-end PC, you might also want to choose Ultimate Performance. But if the extent of what you do on your computer is looking at cat pictures and videos, Power Saver just might be the best power plan for you. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What are the first things you do after installing a new operating system? Let us know about those in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit that bell to stay up to date with the latest with Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Combo.